Let's run the pyenv install command to install Python 3.12. Looks like Python 3.12 was successfully installed. Consider this. You want to upgrade your Python version in your current AWS Cloud9 environment. Can you do this in a few commands using pyenv? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, then click on Create Environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, hit Create, then click on Open Cloud9 IDE. Navigate to the Bash terminal, then type python-version to get the current version installed in our local environment. As you can see, we have Python 3.8 installed in our system. We're going to upgrade to Python 3.12. Let's start by cloning the pyenv git repository in our home directory. Next, we're going to update our bash rc file, which is a config file that gets executed on every new bash session. Here, I'm appending two lines at the end of my bash rc file, the first line is adding the pyenv bin path to my path variable, and the second line is initializing my pyenv. Before I run this command, I'm going to run the tail-2 command to check what are my current last two lines in the bash rc file. Now, let's run our cat command, then run the tail-2 command again to confirm that our cat change went through. Next, let's run the source command to execute all the commands inside my bash rc file. Now that our bash rc file is all set, let's update our yum package manager. But before I do that, I'm going to remove the old open SSL package so it doesn't cause any problems later. Next, Let's run the yum update command with the hyphen y flag, which assumes yes for any prompts that may come up. Next, let's install some additional packages required to upgrade our Python version, such as the newer OpenSSL and some compression packages. Now that all the dependencies are in place, let's run the pyenv install command to install Python 3.12. Looks like Python 3.12 was successfully installed. I'm also going to run pyenv global command to make this our default version. Next, we're going to update our bash profile file, which is a config file that gets executed on every new login session. Here, I'm adding pyenv shims path to my path variable which will help you manage multiple Python versions down the line. Run the tail command to confirm that your change went through, then run the source command to execute all your commands inside your bash profile file. Now, if you run the python-version command, you should see 3.12 as the output. Next, let's create a new virtual environment by running the python-m command with venv. Run the source command to activate your virtual environment, and now you can run Python in the interactive console mode. Finally, to exit out of your virtual environment, run the deactivate command. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer always keep a Cloud9 terminal handy?